Hello everyone, Coinhound here. Liberty. Perhaps no word has been more powerfully associated with the American Revolution and the American experiment than the word liberty. From the Liberty Tree in Boston Common to the famed words of the Declaration of Independence, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, to Patrick Henry's powerful oration, give me liberty or give me death, to Thomas Jefferson's, quote, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. To the Statue of Liberty and various other representations of Lady Liberty, liberty has been an integral part of the American sense of identity for almost 250 years. Liberty has also been frequently represented on American coinage, both in word and imagery. Most recently, Liberty is the ongoing subject of the U.S. Mint's American Liberty Gold Coin and Silver Medal Series. Today, we will take a look at the 2016 silver medal from the series. We'll take a look at the medal, uh, and then we'll wrap up with an overview and some images of the series as a whole. As always, uh, please like the video if you get value out of it, uh, if you enjoy it, because it does help the video and it does help the channel. All right, before we take a look at the medal, I just want to uh, provide a brief little background on the series, uh, this American Liberty series from the U.S. Mint. Now, uh, on the Mint's website, uh, their introduction to the series, uh, it's a brief introduction, uh, is as follows. The allegorical figure of liberty appeared on U.S. circulating coins for over 150 years, from 1793 to 1947. Throughout the decades, Liberty's appearance and poses changed to reflect a changing America. Although the representation of Liberty changed over time, the values she stood for did not. Since 2015, the U.S. Mint American Liberty Series celebrates modern interpretations of the concept of American Liberty. The obverse designs feature modern versions of Liberty paired with contemporary eagle designs on the reverse. The American Liberty designs are released first as a 24-karat gold coin and then as a silver medal. Advances in technology allow the mint to manufacture the coins in high relief. The 2017 American Liberty 225th anniversary gold coin was the mint's first proof high relief coin. It is also unique in that it portrays Liberty as an African-American woman. In 2019, the Mint produced the silver medal in high relief for the first time. So that's the introduction. Uh, so now let's take a look at the medal itself. Uh, you can see it there on the screen before you. My camera shifted a little. Uh, it's the 2016 American Liberty uh, silver medal. This is the second item in the series that I have uh, picked up. Uh, previously on this channel, I did profile the 2018 American Liberty 1 10th ounce uh, gold coin, uh, which does have that aforementioned uh, depiction of the African American woman, Liberty. And this here is the 2016 silver medal. Okay. I did end up picking up a slab version off of email. It's a couple months back. I don't remember the exact price that I paid for it, uh, but this is a uh, proof 70 uh, deep cameo. Um, PG, uh, sorry, PCGS uh, graded coin, and uh, we'll just give you a little bit of a closer view of it there. Uh, and maybe I've always found that it tends to go better if I just uh, do this, and we'll adjust my lighting there. And lo and behold, there it is. Okay, any since it is a 70, any imperfections you see are generally either on the capsule or is just the lighting hitting it in an odd way. Um, so that's it there. And uh, when we look at the obverse, uh, the U.S. Mint describes it uh, as, quote, a new modern rendition of the figure of liberty that evokes the ideals of liberty, courage, and hope, unquote. 
so you can see on the screen there uh, the imagery. You have uh, the liberty, the word liberty, uh, along the top there, off center to the left a bit. And I personally like that. I think it looks kind of cool off centered like that. Uh, maybe that's not for everyone, but I do like it. Uh, the letters are in what seem to be a little bit of an oversized font. Uh, I really like that as well. I think it looks kind of neat. Uh, then obviously you have the 2016. Uh, and then you have Lady Liberty herself. Uh, she is wearing a crown of some sort, uh, and she is uh, holding an American flag there. I do like the way that that is rendered. Um, it, it does look pretty neat, if you ask me. Uh, she does have uh, the torch uh, in her right hand, uh, and then kind of the traditional Lady Liberty-type uh, robes. Um, so I do, I do really like this design. I'm going to just bring it up a little closer for you all as best my camera can offer there. And uh, I just think this is beautiful. Uh, of all the different Liberty coins they've done as part of this series, uh, this is my favorite obverse. Does it have a real modern feel to it? I don't know about that. It is a, a little bit of a different rendition, but uh, it it's, it has enough of a tie to the traditional uh, Liberty imagery um, that I think it does connect very well. And uh, it's just uh, very well put together, if you ask me. And then when we flip it over, as they noted, uh, they have eagles. Oops, it's a metal, so I just flipped it the wrong way. Uh, they have various renditions of an eagle on the back of these metals. And you can see this eagle in flight there, carrying uh, olive branches in his claw with the United States of America across the top. As is uh, noted, it is a metal, so it doesn't have any... Uh, legal tender value, no denomination on it. And uh, one of the things that's neat about these uh, slab coins, and let me just blow this up a little bit so you get a little closer view there. I mean, look at the feather detail. I'm always amazed at what they can do with the modern minting here. Uh, the detail on the olive branch is just spectacular. Uh, you do see it has the W uh, privy there for West Point. Uh, there is also, if I remember correctly, I believe they did a San Francisco version too. Yes, that's correct in my notes there. Uh, so they did a West Point version and a San Francisco version, and this is the West Point version. Um, when I look at the feather detail there, just the, those feathers, look at the alternating smooth and kind of ribbed. Uh, that's just uh, some amazing detail. Okay, so this is super cool. Um, I really do like it a lot. Uh, one of the cool things about uh, modern automation and everything and these grading services with all these numbers on there is you can look up the information on the metal from when it was graded. And uh, for this particular metal, uh, the mintage on this, uh, according to PCGS, was 21,676. Uh, so that's a, a fairly low mintage uh, by at least U.S. standards. And uh, the Proof 70 versions of these that have been graded by PCGS, uh, it had listed as 1,453. Not that I bought it for any of those reasons. I just picked it up because I really do like the design. Um, I like the concept of the series and the like. So uh, now that we've looked at the metal, uh, I hope you'll stay with me a little bit longer uh, because I'm going to walk you through the series and show you all the different coins and metals that have come out in the series uh, so you can get the full picture of what the U.S. Mint is, is doing with this. So let's uh, transition over to that. So as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, the series started in 2015. Its official title is the American Liberty Gold Coin and Silver Medal Series. As uh, was noted, generally they issue a new design in gold, a one-ounce uh, gold medal, and then they follow up with the same design in a one ounce silver medal before transitioning onto a new design. Uh, so this is the 2015 uh, gold medal. You can see it's the same design I just showed you on the medal that I was uh, uh, showing in the slab there. Uh, so that came out in 2015. And then the medal I showed you was the 2016 silver medal, the same very same design. Uh, and then in uh, 2017, uh, they switched designs, and this is the aforementioned uh, African-American woman uh, rendition of Lady Liberty, uh, the one-ounce gold coin. Uh, this was also a, a special uh, commemoration in that it marked the 225th anniversary of the establishment of the U.S. Mint. Uh, so if you look to the right here, uh, it has this really neat edge lettering, 
where it says 225th anniversary on it. Uh, you don't see a lot of edge lettering on things, but I always think it's pretty neat when it's there. Okay, uh, And so you have this uh, design on the obverse, and then you have a different version of an eagle on the reverse. And then following with uh, the uh, same sequence that the uh, previous design had, they came out with the silver metal version uh, with the same design. Uh, and then the U.S. Mint did something a little bit different. Uh, they inserted a one-tenth ounce gold version uh, pictured here. Uh, this was issued in 2018 uh, and was kind of uh, seemed to move away from the plan from the series where it would be one ounce gold, one ounce silver, one ounce gold, one ounce silver, etc. And they inserted this one-tenth ounce gold metal in. Same exact design. Uh, I actually did pick this up uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, I thought it was kind of a neat design. I, got a, I bought it from the U.S. Mint and uh, they were still on sale uh, in early 2021. Um, and uh, I did do a video uh, previewing and, and profiling this coin. I'll put that in the description. Uh, please check that out if you have any interest. Then in 2019, uh, they introduced the third design in the series, uh, a, another version of Lady Liberty here. And uh, you can see the obverse there to the left. Now, to me... Uh, this, uh, with the kind of the rays coming off of her head, uh, this, uh, to me, evokes uh, a look, in my mind, the, the peace dollar design uh, from the first half of the 20th century. Uh, kind of a similar addition. So I don't know if it was inspired by the peace dollar or if it's just strictly a coincidence, um, but uh, I do see some similarities there. Uh, of the three designs up to this point, um, I do like the previous two designs. Uh, I'm not sure that this one really works for me. Uh, but designs, of course, are very subjective. So some of you out there may like it very much. And that's, that's what makes this uh, so much fun. Okay, uh, And then we have another eagle design. This is a real close-up here of an eagle coming in for landing. Uh, pictured there. And then um, keeping with the uh, intended plan, uh, later that year they did issue the silver medal version, uh, which is pictured here. And uh, then there was a, a pause in the series, and uh, I haven't researched why, but I, I'm assuming the pause was due to the pandemic. Uh, they didn't issue any medals in 2020. Um, I don't know that that's the case for sure, but I'm going to assume that. Uh, and it wasn't until this summer that they released the fourth design in the series. And this one was really interesting because they decided to move away from the Lady Liberty design altogether. Um, originally, there had been some word on the streets, some articles out there that were speculating that this series was going to show uh, a series of different Lady Liberties representing different ethnicities, uh, sort of rep representing the ethnic diversity of America as, uh, you know, a melting pot as an immigrant nation. Um, but in 2021, they moved away from the concept of Lady Liberty at all altogether, and they decided to use a design of a bucking horse, which is pictured here. And this just came out this summer. And um, it, it seems to be a design that has had some mixed reactions to it. Uh, you know, I watch a fair number of YouTube videos. There have been a number of channels that have reviewed it and have really liked the design. Uh, there's been others that haven't liked it. Uh, personally, uh, I was a little uncomfortable at moving away from the Lady Liberty design at the beginning. Uh, but now that the coin's out, I've seen some videos of it. It, it really is a, a pretty neat-looking design. Um, the idea here is supposed to be a representation of the American colonists bucking off uh, British authority uh, during the American Revolution. Uh, so that is a neat idea. Um, you have a, a sun down here. I haven't really looked up the specific symbolism of it, uh, but I do know that at the Constitutional uh, Convention, the presider's chair... Uh, which George Washington sat in, uh, and that original chair still exists today, and you can see it at, at, uh, uh, at um, Constitution Hall in Philadelphia. Uh, at the top back of that chair, it had an image just like that sun. And there was this uh, report that Benjamin Franklin had mentioned that he had been mulling over whether that had been a setting sun or a rising sun, uh, but as they were successfully bringing this Constitution together, he had come to the conclusion it was a rising sun, 
uh, representing the rising new day of a new American country. Uh, so I don't know if that's the symbolism that was intended there, uh, but that's what I think of uh, when I see it. Um, I do note that, uh, you know, some of the critics have uh, wondered if this, uh, which appears to be more of a Western theme, was best suited for uh, evoking uh, the fight for liberty in the American Revolution, um, for what it's worth. Uh, you know, I do like the design. Uh, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if they're going to go back to Lady Liberties or if they're going to do other representations of, of Liberty. Uh, only time will tell. Uh, based on the previous um, schedule of how things have been released, uh, I would expect that there will be a one-ounce silver medal. Uh, I don't see that on the schedule for the U.S. Mint for this year, so maybe that would be a 2022 item assuming that they follow the same sequence they've done in the past. I think a silver medal version of this could be uh, really super cool, and I definitely would have my eyes on that next year. Uh, the reverse has this very close-up eagle, um, eagle's head and beak. Uh, once again, this has been a little bit polarizing, I think. Some people have really liked it. Some have not. Um, the uh, I do like the design. The only thing that I might have a little issue with is that it kind of gives the impression of an obverse design. Usually if you have a close-up of a head, uh, it's oftentimes on the obverse, but this is actually the reverse. Uh, so, uh, interesting. You, know, you get 100 people, you get 100 different opinions. Uh, I don't underestimate the challenge the U.S. Mint has in producing designs that will be universally liked. Um, and, uh, of course, over time, uh, opinions can change over time as well. Things that are not unpopular, that are unpopular at the beginning, can become popular over time, and vice versa. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what the long-term reaction to this change in liberty concept is. All right. Well, I thank you very much for sticking along. Uh, very much so if you've stuck through the whole video. Uh, I appreciate all your support. Um, this is Coinhound. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Coinhound signing out.